This is a special report from ABC News Digital. Hey everyone, I'm Dan Kleffler in New York with this ABC News Digital Special Report. It is round two of a dangerous adventure to record and display the melting ice caps at our poles. James Balog has been bringing us photographic evidence of global warming from near the North Pole. His work was the subject of the 2012 documentary, Chasing Ice. Now he's in Antarctica, aboard the Explorer, documenting the changes there. In January of 2011, Jim Baylog came with us on our ship, the National Geographic Explorer in Antarctica, as a speaker. He gave a very, very compelling talk about the change in the glaciers and the ice shelves in the Arctic, but he had never done this in the Antarctic before. And I asked him why, and he said that really it was a question of logistics and a question of expense. And I thought, wow, this is so compelling as it relates to telling the story about changes in polar climates that I suggested to him that we could help. We could provide a ship and we could provide personnel to help monitor the cameras and save him a ton of money and make it possible for him to expand his work in the Antarctic, the other very important polar environment. The Extreme Ice Survey has 16 cameras all over the Antarctic and in South Georgia monitoring what's going on with the glaciers and the ice shelves. And this should lead us to getting data that really, really matters in helping people to understand climate change. I recently had the chance to talk to him while he was aboard the National Geographic Explorer and I asked him about the goals of his new mission. We're joined now from South Georgia Island near the Antarctic by the photographer himself, James Baylog. Ice matters to me because it's such an incredibly, insanely beautiful substance. I've been fascinated by glaciers and ice sheets since I was in my teens. I just love celebrating these landscapes and being in, the, in these landscapes. But ice is also a window into environmental change. It's where we can see and touch and hear and feel climate change in action. Since 2007, our team has deployed time-lapse cameras in Greenland and the Himalaya in Iceland and Canada and, and Alaska. And they photograph every half hour or every hour around the clock as long as it's daylight. And they make a record of how glaciers are receding as a consequence, apparently, of climate change. Now, these cameras that we're in the process of installing here in Antarctica right now are the first time that we've had an opportunity to look at this part of the world. Our basic operation is to try and find a piece of rock that is uh, in good position to watch how the landscape is changing. Then we also need to have a place where the solar panels, which keep the cameras powered, we need them to be getting a good catchment of the sun. We think of them, by the way, as our little R2-D2s. They're like little animal robots out there clicking away, watching the world for us when we're not here, but they're capturing the story of time in this place. And this has been a fantastic partnership. Lindblad has given us access to the ship. You know, the logistics down here are very, very difficult, very expensive. It's hard to get to these sites. And the opportunity to work from this remarkable floating logistics platform, if you want to think of it as such, the National Geographic Explorer, is fantastic. And we're all together getting these cameras in the right place at the right time. It's a big job and you, you burn up a lot of calories, but it's fun, it's great to be out here. I mean, look at this place, this is unbelievable. This is so fantastic, what a day. I'm very, very, very grateful to be here.